So to get started, so I asked ChatGPT to write me a simple switchlet script, which contains some basic forms, subtypes, sublists, and some three sublist fields with more call and unmark call buttons. Now I try to copy this code which is provided by ChatGPT and I pasted it in my Visual Studio code and I just uploaded this code to Netsuite and also I just created the script record and the script deployment for this particular script. Now I'm going to test this particular suitlet. Came out pretty well, I did not expect. I can see the submit button, mark call and unmark call button even it has provided me the refresh button which I did not even ask and I can see the sublist fields and the subtab everything. So which is a good start for me to start with the suitlet and I can just modify it accordingly however I want. I asked ChatGPT to write me a script, transform list of invoices into payments. Now I have received the code from ChatGPT. It has provided me a map to script, so which is actually trying to retrieve a list of invoices, and it is trying to use the existing save search in Netsuite itself. And it's running the search, and it's finally returning the invoices for each and every result. And then, using map context, it is trying to load the invoice ID. Maybe this is not required actually. And then it is trying to transform the invoice into customer payment and the from type is wrong here and finally it saves the payment and it again writes this context.write with payment and payment id that should go to reduce so if you are not using reduce it should go to summarize so that's fine at least it gave me a sample code even though it has provided me a code which is not 100% correct but still I can use this code and modify it accordingly. Now I wanted to write a script code to send an email to employees who have administrator and analyst role. So let's see what ChatGPT does. So the ChatGPT has provided me a schedule script which actually looks good so it is trying to search with the filters roles which is role any of administrator and analyst maybe i can replace this with my internal id of the roles active is false is inactive okay and it is trying to create an employee level search and it is using our filters and it's trying to find the emails and retrieving all the email addresses and framing the subject body and it's trying to send out an email Still, I can use this uh, sample code and modify it slightly to adjust my code. So now let's see if ChatGPT can convert a script 1.0 code into 2.0. <laughs> yeah, boy. So I have some sample code in 1.0 which actually creates sales order record. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to convert this particular code which is creating a sales order which is actually a small function. It's trying to create a sales order record. And finally, it saves the sales order record. Now let's see if ChatGPT can convert this 1.0 code to 2.0. So now it has provided me an equivalent 2.0 code, where I can actually use this 2.0 code now. Now I can clearly see that ChatGPT can even convert 1.0 script into 2.0 scripts. So I can reuse this function and slightly modify it accordingly. So let's try to ask follow-up question to ChatGPT if it can add me some comments to this particular code. Not bad actually. It is actually providing line by line comments with the customer, transaction date, memo, adding a new line item to the record, setting line item, set the item on the line item, quantity. It's actually pretty good. It is, it is able to add the comment also. 
So now let's try asking if ChatGPT can write a technical design document for this. Okay, I think it's even providing me the technical design document, like overview. I think it should be providing each and every single detail. Okay, I was about to ask this question as pseudo code as a follow up question to the chat GPT, but it has already provided me the pseudo code for this technical design document. I'm going to ask chat GPT to provide me a SQL query in order to return the total number of transactions in each type of transaction and the status combination. Let's see what it does. Okay, it has actually provided me a simple SQL query. So I'm going to copy this code and go back to NetSuite. And if I navigate to my SQL and the sweetlet actually performs this execution of SQL query. So I'm going to paste my SQL query here and let's run this query. Let's try to adjust this. So I'm going to adjust this code even in order by and then let's run this now. Now after making some slight adjustments, the field ID for transaction type was wrong. So I just changed this to type and wherever it was wrong I just made the small changes and I can see the results here cash sale with status B this is the actual code of status but still it is giving me the each and every transaction type and its status and based on the status it is also providing me the count so I just asked one more question to chat GBT to write an advanced PDF template for printing the invoices Initially it gave me HTML kind of document, I was not happy with that and again I retried one more time but still it gave me the same thing and for the third time it's still the same then I asked if I asked ChatGPT to use XML so it at least gave me some code but I don't have the upgraded account for ChatGPT so it just gave me some lines of code and it just stopped generating so I asked to write a shorter one later so it just provided me a shorter version of the advanced PDF template I have copied this code and I have uploaded it to my NetSuite account which says custom chat GPT invoice PDF HTML template. So there was one small issue in the code. I have removed this particular line of code and I have uploaded it here. So this is the invoice which we are going to test. So let's print this. And here is the output which I received from the advanced PDF template code.